and work with the celebrated artist Barbara Broom. Barbara Broom? Wait, piss off. <laughs> and I'm absolutely stuck for words. The hand of art. <laughs> the artist's hand. This is a celebration of the work and the life of Barbara Brun, who became one of Britain's foremost specialist painters, working for the rich and famous, from pop stars to Hollywood film producers. Although a highly trained artist who had worked at the V&A for a short period, it was by chance that I introduced Barbara to one of my clients in Bath, Peter Hood, who was looking for a specialist painter to train in his particular techniques. I made the furniture pieces which Barbara then painted. For a brief period in our lives, it was an unusual privilege to work alongside a sister who became a professional friend, and we even collaborated over some of my experimental designs in wood. Barbara soon moved on to establish her own successful company, based in London, where she had a team of painters who would prepare the groundwork for her to come in and do her thing. This was a commission in a rather modern flat to paint a bathroom to look like a tented room. I stenciled the walls with stripes and did tassels around the ceiling and there was a bit of hand painting around the door where I did a tromp as if the tent had been pulled away so that it revealed the door. I've been doing this sort of painting for about 15 years now I started off painting furniture, which was a very good training for the work I did subsequently. Then I moved on to rag rolling, dragging, stippling, all the glazing techniques, and marbling and wood graining in people's houses. But the work I really like is mural painting and trompe l'oeil. Last year, I was commissioned to do a mural by David Putnam and his wife. It was a really nice job because they liked my ideas and so it left me free to paint in the way I wanted to. On the side of an outbuilding I painted a portico in a sort of old Italian style and I used an acrylic paint which was very difficult get used to as I'd used oil paints before but it was a very good paint to use because it was very durable. Barbara's twin sister Sheila, also an accomplished artist, gives a snapshot of Barbara's life. Okay so this is a book I got together for Barbara, it's about her life from being um, little twins, me and Barbara here in our childhood and then Barbara just leaving college, very pretty, with her friends, enjoying herself. And then a party that we had when we were 34. And this is Jill, her half-sister, and these are her friends in her house in London, Hadley Street. And then the wonderful work that Barbara has done, the wonderful um, painting. And Barbara worked for the rich and famous, and in fact this was a ceiling for John Reed, Elton John's manager. She got 30,000 for that ceiling. And this is for Prince von Lowenstein, the Mick Jagger's agent. This is a picture of Barbara painting. A lovely picture of her. And Barbara did a lot of belly dancing. She was extremely good and has some really lovely costumes. And then this is since Barbara's come, this is at our cousin Liz's funeral and our niece Catherine's marriage and uh, Aunt Willie's um, exhibition that we went to see. And this is Barbara's cat, Rupert, who she brought with her down here to stay with me. And various pictures of Barbara in her time here since 2007. Um, she has done riding for the disabled. She's swum in the cross bath. She's come to see Jeremy in his concerts. Um, and she's, this, is, this is my father and my mother. And this is a little bit on Barbara's family. Pictures from the past. And Barbara's shrine, Barbara was a goddess person, did lots and lots of um, workshops and had her own shrines, visited a lot of mediums, con consulted the I Ching, um, and this is just a little bit, this is her charge of the goddess that was on her shrine, and this was the Wheel of the Year to explain to people in homes. You're doing really well, my darling, aren't you? I love you, sir.